Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Casey and I am a personal wardrobe stylist. And if you have been following along for a while, then you know how much I love shoes. They are just like my comfort piece that no matter the phase of life that you're in, they always fit, no matter what. Instead of chocolate, I reach for shoes. I reach for both, but I just love them. And my love is really bursting at the seams in my closet. While they are organized in my closet, they're just everywhere. So I actually called a company that does custom closets to get a quote on what it would cost to get a beautiful custom shoe display. And I was shocked by how many shoes I could buy with that quote. It was thousands. It was bonkers actually. So I'm doing it myself, you guys. Now we all know the Ikea Billy bookcase. It is like the number one Ikea hacked item. And for good reason. It's functional, it's sturdy, and it's cheap. It's like $60. So I'm going to hack it to make my beautiful custom shoe display. I'm so excited. The shoes are all going to be corralled and displayed beautifully and I'm really pumped. So let's go to Ikea, pick up my bookcase, maybe another couple items on the way and I will show you how I'm going to make my custom shoe display that is going to cost way cheaper than the other one. All right, we are at Ikea. Um, we're gonna go get the bookshelf right now, probably along with a few other things. Um, there's not a line today, which is amazing. I'm gonna put my mask on and let's go get that little hack that we're gonna do. We found the bookshelf, the Billy. It's $10 off, score. So this is essentially what it is. It can be used for anything. This is so good just because of the versatility. I'm gonna get more shelves so I can stack more shoes. I don't need so much room. And then I'm gonna get the extender to fit my closet better to make it look a little bit more custom. Let's go find it. We managed to get all of these boxes out of the car and in here. Let's see, what are these? Do you think these are? Oh, this is the extender piece that's going to make it like 12 inches higher which is gonna look really good in the closet. Got our shelves and then the shelf. So we have a project ahead of us. Are you ready to do this, T? Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. By the way, Todd ran off to a work lunch. So I am manhandling this myself. If I can do this by myself, or at least the first part, you can too. I realize I forgot my tools. I will probably need those, but I got this. I got it. Here we are. We ready? Tools, let's see what we need. Now, I'm gonna go grab my drill. I know sometimes they say not to use a drill, but this is not my first Ikea rodeo. So I'll be right back. All right, we've got him. Ready. Okay, but what do I do? It says I need two people. We only have one. Number one. Got it. Number one, down. How many instructions are there? 14, we got this. All right, number two. This is where I'm going to use the drill when we're doing these little guys. It's just so much easier than cranking each one on their own. Oh, we gotta change this drill bit. Do I know how to treat? Yes, I know how to change a drill bit. Oh boy. How do you unlock it? I swear I've done this before. Oh, no, no, oh, oh no. I don't know how to um, get this drill bit out of the drill. I'm twisting the tip, babe. I'm twisting the black part. I, oh, it's working. Just twist the black tip is what he says. He's right. He's right every time. And then just, Screw it on. We're in business, you guys. Next, we take
take the pieces that we had put the wood plugs in and put them on. We're already on step four. We're making it. Good time. Now I do need my screwdriver for this. Now I have um, a very embarrassing thing to tell you. I should come close for this one. So we have been apartment dwellers for, well, since I left the nest when I was a little baby, we've always lived in an apartment so we've never had really good tools, except for this drill that my dad got us. We use Ikea tools, is it so shameful? But you know what, they work so well. It's actually Todd's birthday next week and I bought him a new set of tools. Another set of these. So you know, if DeWalt or someone wants to sponsor me, I'm all for it, but why fix the wheel if it's not broke? And if it was broke, these would fix it. I will screw these in and then move on to step five. Secure the screws. Uh, so this isn't fitting. Oh! Maybe it is. It is. What do I know? Ikea knows what they're doing. Done! Um, I wore my dicky suit today. My grandpa would be so proud. This is all he wore my whole life. I only know my grandpa in the dicky suit. So whenever I'm working, I just put it on for him. <laughs> Moving on to 10. I need a ruler. Oh my gosh, I know what I'm gonna use. <gasps> my hoarding is paid off. These are like picture frame things and I have yet to put picture in them, but they're gonna work as my tape measure. This is so, this is so perfect. part that I need to do is these wall secure bits. So this is such a tall piece, such a, huh, it has to be secured to the wall. So um, I'm gonna add these and then we can take it into the closet and get it all organized. So I've got shoes in about three different spaces and then I'll show you the wall, the hat wall, where the bookshelf is gonna go. Come on in. This is the wall. These hats are so cute on here, but they can be moved. So this is where the shoes are gonna go. They're gonna go about 90 inches high, cover the whole wall. This entire rack is gonna go away. Let's take these down. Good, and then um, I'll move these out. Gosh, should we like vacuum this area first? Maybe I'm gonna hurry and vacuum it really quick. I'm too lazy to vacuum. I'm just gonna pick up anything I see. That looks good to me. <laughs> what do we have going on in here? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so confession. Um, this is built to go against a baseboard. Our baseboards are taller than this was built for. And when we put it up, I wasn't satisfied. So we're cutting just like an inch and a half or something to make room for this baseboard because I want it flush. I want it to look custom. So we just got our little handsaw and 
Muscle man over there is working away. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for making my dreams come true. <laughs> it is up, it is secured, it is flush against the wall. Now it's the fun time where I get to put all the shoes in and organize them and put all the shelves in. I'm gonna start with some of my taller boots and then adjust the shelves as I go because they are custom. Here are my taller boots. I'm gonna just start stacking them and then figure out where I want and then I can actually let's turn that around and then I will just probably do it about there. I want enough room so I can grab them easily, but just so I can get as many shoes in here as possible. This is great. I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. What is going on? <laughs> I am trying to organize them because I want to keep like shoes together. So like my pumps together, my boots together, flats, casual. And I'm trying, <laughs> I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of redoing, but I'm like very visual. So I don't know. <sighs> excited. I have freed up some space. I've cleared room on the ground. This makes me so happy and for a fraction, like a, a little fraction of the price of what it would have been to custom this. So I'm so happy. Thank you for following along. If you want to check out when I did my first closet organization, I will link it down below. You'll be shocked with the before and after. So thanks for following along and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.